hello welcome back again to my channel thank you guys for always stopping by to watch my videos okay today i have a word for somebody not for me god gave me a word for somebody and please i want you to please listen attentively this message is not for everyone so please it's specifically to somebody that will hear this and will take correction okay so let's go the lord is saying to you when will you stop being your worst enemy when will you stop being at grudges with yourself when will you stop having grudge with your own self when will you forgive yourself when will you start being your own friend when will you start loving your own company he said there are many people that they can't stay all by themselves all day <laughs> they must always be in the company of friends ah, i'm going to see my friends he said many of the challenges we go through is because you can't keep things to yourself before you even conceal it in your heart you already let it out do you know who your enemies are do you know that your enemy is your closest part do you know so when will you start loving yourself when will you forgive yourself for that past mistake when will you let go if god has forgiven you have you forgiven yourself why haven't you still forgiven yourself so this is what is holding you back holding to your past will not allow you to see the future you can't look back and at the same time look forward no there must be one you will do per time so if you are still holding behind holding to what has passed then you can't move from that point that you are to the next point so god is speaking to somebody this hour forgive yourself that past mistake he has forgiven you he's a loving father he does not consider that sin anymore so why are you still holding on to that past sin why are you still allowing that mistake to hinder you from what God has in the future. So permit me, let me read it exactly how he asked me. So when I was you know, having that question, so let me read it. This is where I wrote it in my journal. Okay, so he said, I know it takes time to forgive yourself, to love yourself, to be friends with yourself, but you have to be kind and gentle to yourself. He said, how can you say you love someone when you hate your own self? He said, remember, you can only give what you have. If you don't love yourself, so how do you love someone else? It's not balanced. So you need to begin now to start loving yourself. He said, give yourself space and grace to explore good life. And he said, instead of acting and hating yourself, exchange it with, I deserve the best. That's where God drop in my heart to speak to somebody for me i have been in that state of depression i have been in that state of anxiety i have been in that state of self-pity you know i've been in that in the companion of friends that always make me look down on myself always make me feel low of myself so god started teaching me how to bring myself out of that company you need to be in the company of those that make you feel like a giant that you are you need to be in the company of those that make you feel your worth so before you be in that company first you have to love yourself you have to enjoy your own company see beloved many challenges that you face truly is because of you're always where you're not supposed to be you're always in the company of people that look at you 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 like this you think you can you can never I beg forget that thing mm -mm. So be in the company of those that make you, that help you to see that you have value. That, that helps you to see the worth in you. And that helps you to see that you have a bright future. So let me finalize it by saying, there's a wise saying that says, you teach people to treat you in a certain manner by how you treat yourself. You permit people to treat you the way you treat yourself. So how do you treat yourself? 
So this message is for you. It's for you to have a retreat. Please ask yourself, what can I do to be different? How can I live, love myself differently? You know, start by just loving yourself. Pamper yourself. See your worth. Know your value. With that, you'll be able to overcome many challenges that come to you. So this is the word of the Lord. So I give thanks to God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for this word. So as I've delivered it the way he asked me to. So I hope it blesses your life. I hope it blesses you. Please share this video. Let someone other else be blessed as well. So take care. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now. Know that Jesus loves you. Please know your worth. You are valuable. God loves you. He loves you just the way you are. So I need you to start by loving yourself. So have a great week ahead. Love you. Bye for now. Bye.